hundredth game in the NHL tonight. How do you kind of look back on your still growing career thus far and the experiences you've gotten? Uh, of course, there's a fun mind zone. Uh, hundred games. That, that's something. That's something you dream about, like when you're a kid, to be in an NHL and living your dream job. So yeah, of course that's fun. And looking back, uh, it goes fast. Like I remember my first game and felt like it was yesterday. So yeah, it's a fun ride. You guys have played the Islanders last Thursday, coming into tonight to sweep the season series with them. What's going to be some of the keys for you guys? <laughs> yes, try to keep up with our uh, game. Like we know. Islanders, especially at home, would be away, would be a tough game. And uh, yeah, just stick to game plan and like just have a solid 60 minutes. How have you assessed your season so far? You've gotten in the back of the net a couple of times here and you're starting to heat up. How have you assessed what you've done so far? I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good whole season, except like in the beginning the puck didn't want to go in, but uh, now I've done a few goals and uh, of course that uh, makes the confidence higher. So yeah. Let's keep going. You guys are past a quarter of the mark through the season here. How do you kind of look back on the first stretch of the year and maybe some of the areas of consistency you guys want to work on? Yeah, I think it's been a little bit up and downs. I know I feel like when we play good, we play really good. And what we need to do is like full 60 minutes, not to have like one period too good and two periods bad. So just keep up the consistency. And uh, yeah, I think that would be a huge thing coming forward. Uzi, any uh, lineup changes from yesterday's practice for today? Uh, yes, uh, <clears throat> Patrick Kane and Rash took the uh, maintenance days yesterday, and Patty will need another day, probably a day-to-day -day situation. So uh, he'll be out. Uh, so Joe Valeno will be back, and we want to get Joe back in anyways. So this obviously makes it uh, uh, reasonable. Another game against the Islanders. Having seen them so often the last couple of weeks, it feels like what's kind of the keys going into tonight? Yeah, you got to manage your game. Uh, you got to have a patient game. You got to understand that they're going to check. Uh, they're going to be above you. Uh, it's going to be hard to create offense. Uh, you got to penetrate the hard area. Um, you got to get into those hard areas. Something we need to continue to improve on. Uh, this will be an opportunity. I mean, even. We were 2-0 and against them, we've only scored three goals. So I think uh, to continue to have some success, uh, success, we'll need to do a little more offensively. And we can't give them easy offense. I do like the way we've checked against them. Uh, so this will be a tight matchup again. Last, <clears throat> to your point about uh, the three goals in two games, the last three years they've been uh, the team that's led the league in one goal games going to overtime. It's what they want to do. How do they muck it up for everybody and how do you counteract that? I don't, I don't necessarily muck it up. I think it's a little bit of their identity. Uh, they do have two world-class goalies. Mm -hmm. I think they know if they can play the right way in front of their goaltending. Uh, they're going to be hard to play against, and I think it's kind of their approach. So, again, I think it's on us to create some offense, and you know, we have to be a little harder uh, in those tight areas. Yeah, so what are the keys to executing your game plan and not falling into theirs? Well, getting out of our zone. Uh, okay. I think just as, an, as a team, as a group, you know, we're, we're a quarter of the way through here, um, and I think we've seen the good and bad. And we, when we can be connected out of our zone, um, transport pucks, you know, get the pucks 200 feet and you're playing you know, less time in your zone in, in the O zone. That's one. And then I think getting to those harder areas. Uh, it's still like a little more shot volume. Um, again, I just think we can increase some of our volume and get maybe some foot races or some loose pucks. I think it can increase our chance for some offense too. Larkin picked up his 300th career NHL assist the other night on the ice. We talk about his production all the time, but off the ice as a leader, how has he kind of grown in your eyes since you've been here? Yeah, since the three years I've been here, it's been amazing to watch him. I think take a little more pride in um, doing more uh, to help this team win. Uh, I think his offense will always be there, but he's first one out now on the penalty kill. Obviously, he's first one out on the power play. Uh, I think even himself, uh, with where we're at, he's, he's asked for maybe some more of the tougher matchups. I think that speaks volumes about him as a player and individual.